So here is the before and after. Pay attention to my face. Look at the chain or my beard or anywhere else like the skin. So this photo AI tool from Topaz Lab is the best in my opinion. Now it costs $200, but stick with me. I'm gonna show you a trick on how to use it for free. So you can do things like denoise, sharpen, upscale and edit your photos. So it's pretty amazing. And here is the preview, by the way, of how it works. And it works locally on your computer. So it's pretty fast. Use the link in the description and download the app. And it's gonna ask you to either activate it or you can use a free demo. Now, I have this photo that I took of me working at a desk. So it's a quite a good photo, but my face is not actually in focus. So it's quite blurry and I'm going to try to fix it. So we'll just open this image. If you look at the chain or my beard or anywhere else like the skin, you're gonna notice that it was pretty blurred and a little pixelated and now it's super sharp and I can do a lot of different things but basically they trained this tool on like a billion images and so it can recover your face perfectly and you can adjust the strength right here. Now the problem is that I cannot save this photo unless I pay $200. But if you use a free demo, all you need to do is make sure that you select fit so you can see the whole photo, right? Move this to the left so you have the enhanced image. And now if you are on Mac, just use the shortcut shift, control, comma and four and just select the whole photo and just take a screenshot. Now in Photoshop, just create a new document, hit enter and then just paste your new image. So what we are trying to do here is just remove this thing right there and you can do this with generative AI right there in Photoshop. So just select this and hit generate and that's it and it looks perfect. This photo is quite big, it's 3000 pixels. If I zoom in, my chain still looks good. We can still see the details and you can also upscale it even more. Now I hope you enjoyed this trick. You can recover a lot of your photos and obviously if you use it a lot, just pay for the license and follow for more tips on graphic design and AI. And I will see you in the next video.